<laughs> what is going on everybody? Vitai Dovin is here, founder of Bitcoin's Walls Club. What a crazy day it was for Bitcoin and cryptocurrency market. Bitcoin has dropped almost 50% in one day and the entire cryptocurrency market cap has dropped over 110 billion dollars in a period of 24 hours it's been absolutely crazy day the highest drop in the history of bitcoin to date and today in friday morning <laughs> i hope you're feeling well um, i actually slept about four hours today or so because I was, you know, I was very fascinating. That's the word about what is going on in the Bitcoin and crypto market. And I want to discuss with you what should you do, how you should react to that, you know, what you are seeing in the charts, how is your mindset should be about those situations. And, you know, it's absolutely no doubt that the world economy right now is facing huge difficulties businesses are laying off people the travel has absolutely stopped airports has stopped you know people are staying at home people are being laid off and kids are not going to school you know here in israel the president of israel declared that everybody all the kids all the kids are not going to go in school at least for a month and similar situations are happening across the world we are seeing stock market absolutely plummet. You know, some stock lose 60, 70, 80, even 90 percent of its value. People are cashing out all of their investments. The big institutional investors are also cashing out. Cash is keen right now as people are panicking. You know, people are panicking around the world and they're taking money out of the markets now breathe okay when the markets are going through those type of scenarios those type of days uh you gotta stay calm you gotta stay cool and you gotta you know not panic and really clearly see the opportunities that the market can provide you know obviously people who have shorted the market have made a killing right absolutely a fortune People have shorted the market but most people it caught them off guard that type of a drop you know we are seeing right now the entire cryptocurrency market cap drop currently at 142 billion dollars it's slightly up but you can see from 220 billion dollars just yesterday we have dropped to a low of 110 billion dollars which is over a hundred almost a hundred and ten billion dollar market drop in the entire cryptocurrency space bitcoin has done a drop from eight thousand from about eight thousand dollars to the lows of three thousand eight hundred dollars you know when it dropped by 22 percent yesterday i was thinking well that was a pretty pretty bad day <laughs> but you know, I thought that um, it's going to breathe a little bit. I mean, we were talking about $2,000 drop in the price of Bitcoin in one day. It doesn't happen often. But then the Asia market has woke up to massive losses across the, their, their stocks and across their markets. And the, the sell-off has continued to reaching uh three thousand eight hundred dollars it dropped a bit then went up to six thousand two hundred if we zoom a little bit closer to what happened we dropped to five thousand six hundred then went up to six thousand seven hundred right here you can see the wick and we stay for it it's it looked like a bear flag right because the market has not been responding the market has not been responding and it fell more it fell more and dropped to $3,850. That is absolutely insanely low level for Bitcoin, approaching the 
all-time high, all-time low, sorry, from uh, 2018. If we zoom back on the weekly, right, this type of levels we have seen $3,100 back in December 2018. And you can see this massive, massive drop. And like I said yesterday, we were dropping below the 40 on the RSI, which historically has triggered more sell-offs. And you can look at the volume, at the volume right here on the daily. That type of volume has not been seen <coughs> for a very, very long time, since, uh, since 2017, right? Since 2017, even higher volume than that, you can see right here the volume has exceeded the sell-off exceeded the volume that we have seen in the peak of the bull market and then in a massive drop of bitcoin by 70 percent in the beginning of 2018 massive <laughs> massive 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 drop in the price of bitcoin and a lot of people have been caught on guard they didn't expect the price of bitcoin to go that low they didn't expect that Bitcoin is not going to behave as a safe haven asset among the space because look at what happened, you know, as the financial markets go down, the oil drops, everything drops, the stock market drops, uh, United States, uh, President Trump declared that for 30 days, nobody from Europe can come to the States. I mean, the airport's being shut down, uh, people are on quarantine, cities are being closed off, people are staying at home. There's another good, good reason why you should be working from home. <laughs> if you work from home, then it's okay. You continue your work. If you don't work from home and you see, you know, you, you can be laid off or whatever, you should be reliant on yourself and on your business. Now, all of this is happening and when the Federal Reserve pumps, I think it's going to pump in the very near future, $1.5 trillion. $1.5 trillion to keep the financial system from complete collapse. I mean, you got to understand the money printing that is going right now, the, the global banking elite, they are trying and doing whatever they can to hold on to that system. And with that level of money printing and low, low interest rates, I mean, 2008 crisis is going to look like a child play as they're, they're trying to keep the system afloat. And, you know, we are, we are seeing crisis. We're seeing crisis in the, in the world primarily because of the coronavirus outbreak. It is getting se more serious than, than everybody you know, thought. The World Health, Health Organization declared it as uh, the world pandemic and it's affecting all the industries. It's affecting all the industries. So with, what Bitcoin, where, how low Bitcoin can go? According to the veteran trader, Peter Brandt, Bitcoin can go even under $1,000. And he is not a bear on the Bitcoin. He is famous for correctly predicting the market crash from the all-time high. And today he said, if I interpret the chart without bias, I would say sub $1,000. That's almost 80% below the current price. Now that, that is of course something that nobody wants to hear. <laughs> that Bitcoin is going to go to a thousand dollars. Well, you know, you got to understand the situation. You know, if Bitcoin goes that low, how will that affect the mining industry? Are they going to be able to survive that? Because many miners will, will be forced to shut down their operations and the hash rate, uh, the processing transactions, are going to get lower. In my opinion, you know, things in the longer term are definitely going to rebound. Markets always rebound. Remember what Warren Buffett said, this philosophy, be fearful when others are greedy, be greedy when others are fearful. Fearful. Right now, the markets are in extreme fear. So this is the time that you should be buying. 
this is the time that you should be in the markets and if you understand the fundamentals of bitcoin if you understand the technology that stands behind bitcoin if you understand how changing this technology is for the world as the situation is going to relieve globally as the situation is going to improve bitcoin is going to rise through the ashes and it's going to continue its upward trajectory but right now i can see that bitcoin can drop further because the situation right now is really not strong in the world uh, as, as, as people are losing money on their stocks you can see how the stock market is overvalued and you know this is this is why situations like this you gotta have cash set aside uh, in order to be able to take advantage of those those opportunities you know like I'm sure that Warren Buffett you know he's, he has a hundred billion dollars or so stash aside it, for those types of scenarios for those types of situations when the stock market plummets by 70 80 percent and he's going to pick up those stocks and enter those positions and in times like this this is where the millionaires are being made right this is where the millionaires are being made it's a point of maximum financial gain when there is a capitulation in the markets this is a point of maximum financial gains if you were prepared if you were prepared for this if you were prepared if you weren't prepared that you might have been caught on guard and you know depending on where where you are don't sell it fear you know don't sell it a fear you can hold a portion or a larger it will be wise to hold it in usdt okay onto the exchanges the bitcoin if you have hold it in usdt you have made a lot of profit you you have increased the value of the bitcoin holdings that you have by a lot you know in the market situation like this absolutely if you were to hold right here usdt and bought back the bitcoin right here at the lower point you have increased the value of your bitcoin holdings uh you know by like 50 percent <laughs> so it was kind of logical looking at it when the global economy is crashing like this the markets are crashing like this that bitcoin is going to go and crash like this as well i didn't expect it's going to crash 50 percent in one day that is historical <laughs> but this is the time to stop bitcoin and chill right do not be in panic mode and look at this situation and make the most out of it and understand that if you can generate more bitcoins in a situation like this when bitcoin is deeply undervalued which is what the situation is happening right now you'll be in a position to generate massive amount of wealth in the next one or two years so this is the time right now to put more gas into what you're doing this is the time to really go and put everything you've got to generate more bitcoins at those levels you can do it through a variety of strategies that we teach inside bitcoins walls club and increase the value increase the amounts of bitcoin that you hold this is a time to go and do it so a couple of updates about coronavirus so you can see you probably read it yourself i'm not i'm not a person who is that much reading the the negative news i don't like reading reading the negative news i like to focus on productivity and on positive stuff that is happening but you cannot you cannot you know take your your <laughs> your head and put it in the sand you got to see what's going on and events are canceling events across the globe are canceling the eurovision is being canceled people are going to be seeing that from their homes you know microsoft uh, annual developer conference 
has been canceled. Closure of all libraries and community centers across the city, right? People are not going out into the streets. The amount of cases in coronavirus is now increased to 128,000 uh, across the world. Layoffs, significant layoffs in different industries are happening. Businesses and businesses, you know, are struggling right now. The demand is getting lower. Uh, some businesses go bankrupt. Um, and yeah, <laughs> this is this is a time to brace, and this is a time to maximize the resources that you have. As we are seeing, cryptocurrency market absolutely fall. In the U.S., the Dow Jones Industrial Average closed 2,352 points lower, uh, or 10 percent. Its worst drop since 1987 Black Monday market crash. That selling spilled over into Asia on Friday morning. Investors are concerned about the global economic fallout from the coronavirus as businesses are disrupted and cit cities are locked down. Countries have taken different approaches with Italy, one of the worst hit nations, shutting down shops and restaurants and the U.S. canceling sporting events. Across the world, schools have been shut and people made to work from home. They tell you, you got to work from home. <laughs> An action by central banks has done little to soothe investors' concern. This includes the recent emergency interest rate cut from Federal Reserve and the Bank of England and Japan and Australia uh, by the European Central Bank. On the positive note, the amount of people holding, holding to their dear life, holding one Bitcoin or higher hits a, a, a record, right? It's, it's, it's growing. Uh, it, since March 2019, the number of Bitcoin wallets holding more, uh, one or more Bitcoins added more than 60,000 addresses. So people are still holding. Some people are selling, of course, in a panic. You don't want to be selling at a panic. Can Bitcoin go lower? Can Bitcoin hit 3,000? Yes, it can. With this kind of situation in the market, it can. So we're going to monitor closely. We are right now very, very highly, severely oversold. We broke any kind of support <laughs> that we had for Bitcoin in this absolutely free fall. The market is trying to rebound right now as it dropped to $3,800. It quickly went up all the way to 5,700. You can see this massive move right here. 50%, 50% massive move on the upwards from 3,800 to 5,700. Wow, if you, if you caught that move, <laughs> good for you. Uh, long in the market. This was absolutely insane, insane, insane moves. And Ethereum also had the, the, the biggest drop in, in the history of uh, Ethereum. I am writing not in English here. Ethereum has dropped from $194 to the lowest of $90. <laughs> That's crazy. 53% decrease. The markets uh, have fall, you know, not, not just crypto. All the all kind of markets. Gold. Let's look at gold. What it's doing. Gold also crashed on the day. Similarly, we can see gold crash yesterday uh, by another five percent, <clears throat> and now it's uh, rebounding. But it's behaving better uh, than Bitcoin. So, to summarize, guys. Right now, it's a time. If you can get into the market and kind of dollar cost average your way, buy the assets while they drop so much, okay? But also understand that further drops are possible in this type of environment. If you're willing to take the risk, you know, 
because of the uncertainty in the market situations right now, Bitcoin can drop even further. But it's an opportunity. It's a huge opportunity for you to amass more Bitcoin at the cheaper prices and also to generate more Bitcoin at, uh, at this type of uh, market condition. As Bitcoin is going to rise, the markets are always going to correct and Bitcoin is going to rise through the ashes. Now, it may take longer than we anticipated and than we expected, but it is what it is, guys. I hope that you have a fantastic day and uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Hopefully, we're going to have some good news for the Bitcoin market.